go aside? Good morning, welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube. If this is your first time visiting me, hi, welcome. My name is Sierra and I'm an American who lives in England. Every week I make a new video about my family's life here or whatever it is that we're interested in or talking about on the weekly. In today's video, as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little a day in the life, which I haven't done in a while. Um, at least not like a day at home video. I think it's been like almost a year since I've made one. Right now it is about 11, so I'm just sitting here having my second cup of tea up in my bedroom. I don't really film in here, so that's what it looks like. It's kind of bare bones. It's like that last room in the house that you decorate when you move in. You lived in this house here in Yorkshire for two years and I still have decorated it. But anyways, um, today we're gonna be doing just a lot of at home stuff. We have some school work to do. And this afternoon, the speech therapist is coming for little man. And then later in the afternoon, we actually have a chimney sweep coming around. So that should be exciting. So I'm gonna take you guys along for our day and we'll see what we get up to. I haven't filmed very much yet for the day, but since little man is homeschooled, we're kind of on whatever schedule you wanna be on. But anyways, we slept until about 9.30 or so. And then we got up, had some breakfast, and we spent most of the morning just kind of like hanging out and reading and doing you know cozy stuff which is really fun because I think it's slowing now but it has literally been raining all morning so that was really quiet and soothing so I didn't take any footage of us reading so sorry about that but literally just imagine us sitting on the sofa reading books that's basically all that happened. I came upstairs for a little bit just so I could make myself presentable for you guys but it's time to go downstairs and do a bit of school work and we also need to clean the stove because we have the chimney sweeps coming this afternoon. there so um, we had a little bit of a break in the rain and so I wanted to come out here quickly and harvest some of these greens um, my lettuce is bolting really really badly right now which is fine because it's got really warm all of a sudden but I need to pick some of them for lunch before the rain comes back uh oh the rain's coming back <laughs> even why if you think your greens are clean they are not for example we've got a baby snail a couple of slugs in there so I'm gonna catch them and I'm gonna just put them back outside hi hey guys um, so it just came in from outside as you guys saw in the last clip um, there's a little break in the rain so I had just enough time to harvest some greens for either dinner or lunch not sure what we're gonna do with them yet but we're gonna sit down and do just a little bit of school work little man has to do some review for reading and then I think we're gonna do some Bible math Bible math and writing maybe maybe not maybe not out of his toy bag and climb in it. Inside, after a moment, I need someone to find me that a laundry basket. Ah. Hi. So, it's time to make lunch, but both of my camera batteries are dead. So, little man is going to show you how to make his favorite sandwich on my phone. So, what are you going to make? Tortilla, jam, cashew, and bread. Yep, and for me, I think I'm gonna make a tortilla with greens and maybe some hummus and veggies. So, all right, but what do you call this that you make? What do you call it? Cashew jam sushi. Cashew and jam sushi, that's right. And this is background in my messy kitchen because we actually live in our house. Hello! <laughs> do you know how to make this? Yeah? So we put the cashew, look, which are like this. So you use the neck and this one spread. Yeah, 
I'm gonna make my tortilla with some it's called hummus. Maroc yeah, Moroccan hummus. It has this mango. One, yeah, this one has mango inside, but it doesn't always. Usually it's like raisins and like Indian type spices. Well, not Indian, Moroccan type spices. Then you use the thumb and taste it. Put the cashew top on and then put it away. And gym next. And then you use the spoon and then dip and make eight line. And then on my sandwich, I'm gonna add some chicken free slices um, because they were on sale in Morrison's this week. I usually don't buy them unless they're on sale because they're too expensive, but yay. And then you spread. It's like this. And then I'm still making mine, but our kitchen scissors are already in the dishwasher, so I'm going to use regular paper scissors, but I did wash these earlier today. Um, you just take it, leave the cucumbers outside, by the way, and then I just kind of like do it like that and literally just like roll it up like sushi, like this. And then we just cut it kind of like sushi rolls. Hey dude, what happened to your sandwich? It's in my belly! Yeah, let me see with that piece. Oh yeah, the last piece. All right, let it meet its belly. Is it delicious? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I haven't even finished making my lunch yet, but I'm still gonna add some greens, maybe some plant mayo. He's decided he now needs lettuce, which is fine. And so this is what Mama's lunch is looking like. And actually, I already ate half of my sandwich and some of the rice crackers, but yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the living room floor. I'm sitting down here because I've got about half an hour until speech therapy comes, and then after speech therapy, right when it ends is exactly when the chimney sweep will be here, so I've gotta get this cleaned out right now. So what you have to do before your chimney sweep comes is you have to clean all the ash out from the ash bed underneath, which I just pulled it out. Um, it didn't have that much in it, um, but I actually just started dumping it in and scooping the um, bits from here. We have to get all the ash out so that he can get in there with his um, tools and sweep the chimney. So that's gonna be fun. The easiest way for me to do this, at least, is um, I like to open the, I don't know what this is called, but open the ash drain thingy. And then I like to use my little stoker to kind of like move everything around in there to kind of get most of it slid down, um, or at least the bits that I can. And then after that, I just kind of sweep it out. Lunch, anybody? Now the stove's completely clean on the inside, and now this actually isn't required for the chimney sweep, but since the, the stove will be all clean and ready for winter to use um, once it gets colder, which hopefully won't be for quite a while, but I'm gonna clean the glass right now just because, um, to get it over with. I actually got this um, advice from my neighbor. She has a wood stove as well, and she told me all about it. So basically what I use is it's a combination of soap and Mr. Muscle, or in the US, I think it's called Mr. Clean. I think that's the same thing, I don't know, but Mr. Muscle, as far as I think, is definitely more attractive than Mr. Clean. Maybe he's just younger, I don't know. But anyways, uh, basically what you do is I use Astonish Soap, and it's like an all natural, actually an oven cleaner. So I just take a bowl of water, and you guys can see I need to buy some more, but I get the um, sponge a little bit wet that comes with it, and then I make lots of bubbles in here. And then I rub this stuff right onto the stove, dry. Um, sometimes you have to do it a couple of times or to get it completely clean, but it definitely works. And within the process a couple of times, I like to go back and add more soap. Cause I mean like you are like, you're cleaning off like ash. And if you accidentally have like any tape on in the cardboard on your fire starters, it can really mess up the stove, so. And then when I get to this point, I know I'm going to get some hate for this probably, but I use paper towels to clean this. I tried using a cloth on this one time, but the cloth ended up getting completely destroyed because ash. So um, it's the only thing I use paper towels for, so I'm sorry if that makes you upset. But um, I just wipe it first just to see like how much um, I'm able to get off just in the first initial scrub down. Um, and it's very soapy as you guys can see. but it allows me to see kind of like what the preliminary situation is. And you guys on camera, it does look pretty clean, but in person you can still see that there's like some brown lines here. I usually go back a second time with my soap and water again, just to get um, all of the yuckiness off. Yeah.
And then I'm going to take my Mr. Muscle and let him do all the work. Now it's all clean and beautiful and ready for winter. Good night, kitty. <laughs> what do but, you think this is, huh? Bye. But I can't know how to climb up. I know. I don't know how he got up there. Come here, you. Good night, kitty. Oof, come down. Hi. Hello, guys. Welcome to the couch. <laughs> the chimney sweep just left a few minutes ago, and now our chimney is sparkling. I took a little video clip while he was here, so you guys will either see that after this or before or whatever. But it's really interesting thing to see. It was a lot noisier than I remember. What they do is they take, it looks like a, like a, a feather duster, but it's metal, and they stick it on the end of a pole, and they drill it up slowly into the chimney. And then when they're done, they pull it out, and then a bunch of soot falls down, and they vacuum it up. Little man, what did you think of the chimney sweep? Did you like it? Maybe not. Maybe not? Why not? Because it was really noisy. Yeah, it was really noisy. Anyways, now that that ordeal is taken care of, I think I've got an hour or so before it's time to make dinner, and so I'm going to go into the living room and do a little editing on this video. Then I guess I will see you guys when it's time to make dinner. doing silly things like that with the camera turned on just to see what he's gonna do. It's been about, I would say, maybe an hour since I last saw you guys. I did a little bit of editing and then I walked out and was in the garden for a bit. I'm gonna make this sausage and zucchini skillet recipe. I'm gonna change it a little bit, obviously, because I need to veganize it. So I'm using, as I said before, some of the Richmond meat-free sausages. Um, they look like this. It says to use four in the recipe. I'm gonna use eight because they're the little tiny vegan ones. I'll write my version of the recipe in the description, and then if you guys wanna check out the original recipe, it'll be down there for you as well in the link. So yeah, I'm gonna turn on my podcast, and we're gonna get cooking. took me to make dinner like maybe half an hour including all the chopping and this is what it's looking like it smells really good there's some rice in the bottom and I put a little bit of salt and pepper in with the rice but you get out of my bowl child <laughs> anyway um it looks pretty much exactly like the recipe it said in the pictures obviously I put some rice in the bottom to give it a little bit more calories because when I looked online it actually said that it was less than one calorie per gram which is really low and I want to actually feel full after I've eaten so I put some rice underneath it there and also there's no carbs in the recipe except for what's in the plant sausage so yeah it should be pretty good so we're gonna go out and enjoy it in the patio it's delicious yeah you guys like yeah. it yeah mm -hmm. It's a perfect evening to be on the patio and enjoying some delicious food. It is a nice day. Mm. Rainbow, 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 rainbow. There could be a rainbow. It was such a terrible morning and like gross and dingy and now it's just absolutely gorgeous. The sun is back out. You can see, it's just so pretty. Hey there guys. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit later in the evening now and it's absolutely lovely. Well, I guess you guys can't hear it. There's like an owl hooting from like the forest over there and like I can hear birds from the trees over there and the leaves are rustling and it just sounds so nice. Anyways, um, it's been a couple of hours since dinner and to be honest with you, we didn't really do anything after dinner. Little man and mister played football in the garden a little bit and he sprayed the flowers with his water sprayer and kind of just hung out with me while I did some weeding, which I don't know if weeding is something you guys are interested in. If you guys want to see me weed a garden, let me know, but nothing really interesting happened so I didn't film anything else, but yeah, that was the rest of our day. Now I'm just just kind of sitting out here enjoying the weather until it's time for bedtime which I think little man is upstairs getting his jammies on right now so I need to go in and do that but yeah that's the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know in the comment section and let me know if this is the kind of video that you like or if you guys want to see different kinds of videos from me or whatever it is that you guys want to see like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next video